Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Desiree with Desiree Plans. In today's video, I want to give you a quick review of the brand new metallic gel pens and also the sparkly ballpoint pen along with those sticky notes that you can see there. So I want to give you a first look to see if it's something you're interested in because today is the last day of that 20% off sale. So you definitely want to take advantage if you are. So again, thank you so much for watching. Welcome back. If you are already subscribed, thank you for following. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I'll have new content coming out. And what we've got here are the metallic gel pins. These are brand new. And honestly, I don't know what to think about them. <laughs> I'm excited to try them out. There's no names. Normally they have the color names, but nothing on here. It comes in a nice packaging, I must say. The packaging itself for the gel pins is nice. Um, the other one was kind of you know, flimsy and all, but super cute pin though for the sparkly ballpoint pin. Excited to see what that one's about. But I also picked up those hourly sticky notepad to see what that looks like too in some of my planners. But let me give you a quick pen test so that you can have an idea on what these are going to write like, if you're going to like it, if it's even worth purchasing or not. I love pins, so I was going to buy them no matter what, <laughs> just because I need to see for myself. Total pin addict. But you know, you've got your typical mid-century circles on there, very small Aaron Condren logo there. And again, it's a metallic gel pin. So again, no names. So I'm just calling everything metallic colors. <laughs> so I'll show you here and I'll kind of speed up through everything too. So here is the metallic pink. Um, again, no names, double checked <laughs> just to make sure. But yeah, metallic pink. I'm not writing anything fancy, just literally metallic pink with some squiggles, you know, a heart, a circle, a little box, I don't know, lines. It doesn't look very metallic-y to me. I mean, kind of in the right light, but it looks very dull. At least the pink does. Pink is my favorite color, and so I'm kind of bummed. I'm wishing this was more brighter. Um, here's the metallic purple. And the metallic purple, I like much better than the pink, that's for sure. Um, you can see more of the shimmer in this one alone. So I'm excited about this one. And I'll pick it up at the end too to show you though. Here is the metallic blue. And sorry guys, I'm a lefty, so you can't see me right. That's the one downfall and I don't have my ca camera angled the right way. But here's the metallic blue. Um, this too is going to be my next favorite color. It's The colors itself are very bold, at least at my angle. Here we've got the metallic green and oh yeah this one gosh i can't believe the pink is not as nice as these others i'm a little bummed the pink comes out real dark kind of um doesn't look like that hot pinkish here is a silver i mean yeah metallic silver no question there right <laughs> silver silver um so yeah so i'm liking the silver pretty good too it actually shows up really well. You can write with it and still see it. I know that's something that many might find hard to read sometimes, but it's actually pretty dark. The metallic gold too is just the same. And I think that last one, I break a brown metallic copper or bronze. I don't know, copper or bronze, one of those. Probably bronze, I guess copper's more orangey. This is more of a brown. I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> but I'm calling it copper. So metallic copper. Yeah, I probably should have called it browns, but oh well. Very nice still. Even this one comes out really pretty. Um, so these are, the case that it comes in is actually built in. Normally you have like that little piece that comes out, but this is actually a really sturdy case for you to put everything back in. So it's not a bad deal um, on that part. With the others, they come in the hard case, which is fine too, but even that insert comes out in the middle. This one does not. It's already part of the package. So that's kind of nice. Nice little reusable package. I like them overall. Here is the sparkly ballpoint pin. Um, you know, I'm not one for these pins just because of the outside and the way it feels. It's very rough and rigid. Um, you know, like if glitter was just thrown on there and glued, but it's so pretty. It really is pretty in person. And yeah, so very cute. But again, it's got that rigid, like it's gonna leave indentions in your fingers <laughs> and all that. Like it's rough, like it's just a rough pin, but it is super cute and definitely eye-catching. You can even see a little piece of that glitter on there. Nothing flaked off very easily though, um, but yes. Yeah, so 
let's see what this ballpoint pen writes like and what color it is. I don't even know if it's at a color on the description or not, but it is black. Oh my gosh, guys, I really like it. So they're calling it a ballpoint pen, but it's writing just like a gel pen. It's kind of amazing. I don't know. I, I really like the way it writes. I'm very surprised. Um, very, very nice, very smooth writing on there. If it were only smoother, but <laughs> bakers can't be choosers. Um, the one thing I noticed with that sparkly pen, though, you know, there's no Erin Conjun logo. It's just a sparkly pen, um, just as that. But yeah, it writes like a gel pen, guys. I know they were selling the reusable um, pen inserts too for it, which I didn't purchase because I wasn't sure if I was going to even like it or not, but I do love it. So yeah, very, very cute. At this point, I might even, I think there's another one. Well, gosh, no, I don't think, I think the only one that's ever come before was in a surprise box like this, but it's very pretty. It's kind of like the pinks and greens and purples in there. And I'll do another zoom in just so you can see and get a better an idea. But if you're not already following me, come follow me on Instagram at Desiree Plans. You can also find me on YouTube, of course, Desiree Plans, Facebook, all over there. Um, but again, I'll be sharing any new cells coming up. But look at that shimmer. So the pink is the only one to me that doesn't shimmer that much. Everything else does. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you think you're going to get them? They're 20% off right now, guys. Now's the time to do it, especially if you have a coupon. So here is the pin up close. I really had to get a good picture and angle my phone differently but look at that it looks like glass you know like it's so pretty it really is gorgeous but you can see the rigid areas in there though it's like glitter and beads it's so pretty like a mosaic type and guys the pictures don't even do it justice online it is gorgeous it's just got that rigid thing which it's not gonna stop me here are the gel pins very cute I would buy more. I don't think I wouldn't mind. I think I would buy more. Yeah, the only color that I wasn't pleased with was with the pink, but that's what the tip looks like. You know, it's a metallic gel pen, <laughs> just as described, but very cute pins. I would recommend these. I know they have some other gel pins and they're not great at all, but these are actually really good. Now, I have here the hourly sticky notes. And I'm sorry, hourly sticky notepad is what they're calling it. But it only has 20 sheets, guys. Like, I don't know if it's worth it. 20 sheets, so it's not even for like a full month when you think about it. But the dimensions are 2.125 inches by 5.75 inches. And again, 20 sheets and it's sticky. So we'll see how sticky these are. I've always had problems with sticky notes in general not sticking. But let's take a look. Let me go find my planner real quick. Okay, so what I've got is just a softbound notebook. I want to show you on a blank spread. I know that's how they kind of advertised it too, that you can add, make your own type planner, bujo, however you want it, and just add that sticky note in there. And let's see. Okay, so it seems pretty sticky. Not bad. It does look a little different, brighter than the notebook itself. But looking at the lining of these, if you line it up right, it would match up with the lines evenly. And I like it. I think it's a very cute feature um, to have just to, you know, a lot of people like that time in there. Let me actually see. Give me one second. Let me fix that because that is bothering me because I know it's going to line up perfectly as long as you line that up perfectly to have your lines go across evenly. But I am awful at putting things straight. <laughs> Even my stickers, forget it. But considering that I've already taken it off twice, it actually sticks pretty well still. Now, another area that you can do it, and it's just driving me nuts. I need to fix it. Let me see. Yeah, I'm not a perfectionist, but I know it irks people sometimes. <laughs> but here we go. Now I got it. So look at the lines. The lines go across evenly with the notes page. So that is a nice feature to have if you're just using a softbound notebook. Now, I did try it out in a few others too, and the new petite journals and mini petite journals as they're calling them it fits in there too believe it or not I, it it looks like it could be sticking out slightly but it looks pretty good so as long as you line it up with the very top which i still can't even get you can still see some of the green there showing but when you put it at the very top and slide it evenly with the very top of the page the very bottom of the page is 
slightly coming out like but it's not anything that's going to catch but it fits in there pretty pretty well you wouldn't be able to put it at the corner just because it's a curved edge and this is a you know a square edge but i like the idea that it even fits in that mini notebook that's not a bad deal at all whatsoever for some who are using trying to figure out how they're going to use that that can just be like their mini thing if you have something going on that day on the go i really like this feature so I'm glad to see that it works in there. If it fits in here, it's more than likely gonna fit in the pocket planner as well. Now, let me let me try it. <laughs> I'm talking, but I don't even know. It's definitely gonna fit, but is it gonna line up? Who knows, let's see. Let me take this out. So guys, this is the same one though. Guys, it is stuck pretty well. I'm not having any trouble, unlike all the other sticky notes that they've ever sold. So I'm pretty surprised by it and I'm excited. I think they're listening and <laughs> just making a better product overall. So obviously it fits as you can see, but the lines are much thinner on the pocket planner. So the lines don't match up here with the outreliefs. It's much bigger. Obviously it's even a horizontal spread. So I'm not sure how you would use it here, but you can always put it in the notes area and it would look really good. So yeah, so fits in the pocket planner. You've got space there too. So very nice still to have, but 20 sheets. I want to say it was like $4.40. And I can't remember if I bought it on sale or if that was actual price, but I'm going to link everything that we're discussing below just so you can see it too. So we know it fits in the soft bound notebooks. We know it fits in the pocket planner, even though it's mini petite planners or it's mini petite notebooks whenever they come out, but they fit in there. And actually it looks like as though it's going to fit too on this notebook here. So yeah, let's try and measure this up here. And granted, I'm not using the full notebook. I'm just kind of starting with the straight line here, straight edge to find it. These lines will match up too with this notepad. As long as you put your sticky note <laughs> straight and even, it lines up there. So you can even use just a regular notebook and have that time for whatever days. You know, for me, hourly, you know, I use the Daily Duo right now because it's hourly and it's for work. I don't use Saturday and Sunday, so it's like pointless. I don't even use it, but I didn't even think to try it out. But you can always, tr I'm sure if it lines up with this notebook, it's definitely going to line up in the Daily Duo area as well. So I'll make sure to put in the comments if it does or not, because this film <laughs> was already recorded, but I'll let you know and see if it fits in there. But yeah, very nice. I was very happy. That's what I picked up in my haul. I also picked up a quick cover for St. Patrick's Day. I didn't personalize it, but it's super cute. Make your own magic. Just the green. I love it. Right now I have one that says just Desiree plans on it with just the green and white and, you know, all the stripes and everything. But super cute platter cover. I have tons of them. When they're on sale, it's definitely an easy buy. And it helps when it puts you over to that shipping, that free shipping. I just kind of add quick, cheap things, to be honest. But I really like everything that I picked up overall. I'm satisfied with my order. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Do you think it's something that you'll be purchasing? What are your thoughts? Remember, today is the last day for the 20% off. I do have a link down in my bio. It is an affiliate link. Um, so again, I would appreciate it if you would use it. But again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.